Morning everyone. Today I'm getting a little bit late of a start this morning because I wanted to it to warm up because the temperature has been kind of extreme. So right now it is two degrees below zero with about 20 mile an hour winds. I have four driveways and a parking lot that have to be done today. I will not be doing any sidewalks. I just don't want to get frostbit today. And uh, a lot of the places are closed around our area because of the cold temperatures and the wind chill factor. Like the mail's not even being run today. So, you know, it's bad when the mail's not being run. So, all my video today is going to be from inside of the truck, which you've, uh, if you followed along the channel, you've seen them all these places before. Now, uh, let's go take care of these driveways. driveway done and I want to talk about uh, or let you know what was going on here plow was not working right it wasn't going left and right every time I hit the button or up and down I thought maybe a solenoid's going or something which I was hoping it didn't because uh, it's a pain in the butt to change it even though I didn't do carry one with me and uh, thought I was gonna have to head home and change that out and I checked the connection in the truck checked the connection out on the plow it was coming unplugged so thankfully it was just something simple because otherwise it would have messed up my whole day and the other thing that's going on right now is I have uh, customers calling me to tell me not to worry about them because it's too cold which it is too cold but, so I am getting all the driveways done I just won't be getting all the sidewalks till tomorrow which tomorrow is supposed to warm up to five I also want to let everybody know all my videos are two to three days behind because I don't have enough time to do all my plowing and up edit and upload a video. Uh, last night when I went to bed I was up for 40 hours and just because of that long storm and then last night when I got home I was trying to edit some of the video or quite a bit of video from two days ago so that could be up for tonight and it will be up tonight when I'm finished. But or this afternoon and I have to finish editing and upload it.
when my plow just quit working. So I am ahead for home. My plowing is done for the day. Good thing I got everything done that needed to be done. The other ones can wait. Definitely have to get my plow fixed because nothing. I'm pushing the button, nothing's happening. I don't have a spare remote with me. I forgot to put it in a truck. It's sitting at home on a bench. So hopefully it, this is the problem. But I think it's probably either the hand held uh, remote or the solenoid. Either way, shit, it's something electrical anyhow. So I'm gonna head home, pull this thing into the garage, see if I can do it or do a quick fix on it. If not, uh, my buddy's got a repair shop. I can go over and he can fix it real fast. Okay, I got the truck home, plow home, and as you can tell, I'm in my garage. Uh, it was not the remote, it was uh, the solenoid, and it's, what, two or three degrees outside, something like that, with 20 mile an hour winds, and it's snowing again. So I was not changing that solenoid outside in that weather, so I had to pull it in my garage, and I started up the stove, and uh, we're going to tear this apart now and change it. It's, it's not a hard job to do, it's just a pain in the butt because the way they've got everything. The solenoid is behind here. In order to get this off, this has to come off. Which there's two pins. It's this pin and this pin. Once you, once you pull them pins off, once you pull them pins off, this will fall forward and this part will fall back. So I have a jack under the front there. And then as I'm taking this part off, I have to make sure I'm in front so it doesn't fall forward and damage anything. I'll just lay it forward there. And then pull that cover off and uh, get the solenoid and replace it. Okay, so I could never get my fingers in there, so I just use a pair of pliers, pull the pin, and there is one washer on the outside. Try not to drop anything on the floor. And then, uh, can you see it? No, I can't see it. There's a plastic spacer here along with the pin. So sometimes you do good and grab it. Like that, sometimes you don't. And the second pin, pull that off, washer, plastic bushing out, just lay it forward. Next thing is, there's two big long tabs on the bottom. You have to pull this cover down past it. And then there's two on top there that just hold it in. So you just pry it up and over. There we go. Kind of hard to do it with uh, one hand, but once you got that off, you just pull these down. Plastic cover comes off. And that's a solenoid that has to be replaced right there because it keeps clicking. So what I do is I take a picture of it to make sure I got all the wires in the right spot and then pull it off and put another one on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two bolts off that hold everything all into one spot and get this out where I can work on it. It'll be out not very far but it won't be right in tight in there where I can, can't reach anything. I'm trying to do all this with the camera. A little bit difficult but... fun part is going to be putting this all back together. So you get it out to where you can work on it anyhow. When it comes to solenoid, I have a, a genuine western solenoid instead of an aftermarket one because it's supposed to be a heavy duty solenoid for plow and usually what happens, the parts stores have been to them several times 
And the problem is this bracket in the base, it's not wide enough, so you have to drill, have to drill another hole. Or uh, these are not in the same spot and the wires are too short or too long and can't get it to work right. So uh, the wires are run for Western, so that's why I'm sticking with the Western part. Okay, I'm going to do my best not to drop everything on the floor, because if I drop something on the floor with all the snow here, I will never find it. Trying to put that little thing in there without dropping it. It's going to be the fun part. Yep. I have real fun with that. Problem I'm having is this thumb's a little bit shorter than this thumb. I cut it off, end of it off many, many years ago. I have no feeling up here in this thumb, so I can't feel the small screws. So I fight with uh, little pieces all the time. And it's gone. I dropped it. It's going to take me a while to find that. Okay, I cannot find it, but I have one more. At least I'll have one screw in there. I'm going to have to... Uh, I guess I'm going to have to melt all the snow off to find that other bolt. Okay, I looked around and I could not find that. So I'm just going to have to tighten this one up for now. It shouldn't go anywhere. So it should be solid enough for me to get uh, this hooked up, make sure it works, and get all plowing again. Okay, now the fun part, getting this all back on with this. You know, pry this up to get it on these tabs, then go around the front, push in, and hold these bottom all at the same time, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. Works nice when it works, but it's a fairly good idea, but just a pain in the butt. side that's the other side so now I gotta hook up the rest of it Okay, the dielectric grease I use is truck light and YK-77. I bought this uh, five years ago or six years ago when I bought this plow. A buddy of mine sold this to me. It wasn't very much, but it's uh, the brown stuff. Works for, uh, really well. So, that's the end of that. So as much as uh, I'd like to stay working in the garage because I got a lot of stuff to work on, I gotta go back out, get this truck hooked up, and go see if it works. Hopefully, which it does. I think that's all the problem was. Because uh, most generally, if you're clicking when you're hitting the buttons, and you got power everywhere. It's usually just a solenoid. So uh, as much as I don't want to, I gotta go back out, and we gotta hook this thing up.
Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, let's go plow some snow now. So I plowed my driveway a little bit and it worked, no hesitation, not like it was. Uh, I'm gonna go hit another driveway or a couple more driveways close by and test it all out because uh, I'm gonna have to go out first thing in the morning and plow everything all over again because it's been nonstop snowing for three hours. And it's uh, not supposed to be snowing at all, but it is. So right now I have to open up one more driveway I never got to because the plow was broke or just didn't quit working. And then I have to shovel out a drift in front of a driveway, in front of a driveway, in front of a garage, because the people can't get out. And they said it was no big deal. They just need to be out by tomorrow, so I gotta make sure they are out today. Because tomorrow I know I'm gonna be out plowing all day again, because this snow is still coming down. Care of this driveway. I don't have to worry about this or I have to come back to this for a couple days anyhow. Um, I gotta check one more driveway on the way home and then that should be it for the day. So we only got about a half hour of daylight left and then it will gonna be dark and I don't like plowing at dark but I'm gonna be doing that in the morning early anyhow. But So that's gonna be pretty much the end of my video today. Start off with just being a finishing up Paul video and up being a repair video. So actually, yeah, both, I guess. So anyhow, that's going to be the end of my video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. You can check out the links in the description box below. It would be greatly appreciated. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you on the next one.